We're about to go for our daily morning walk with the dog. Jeff um, is a slow riser. I'm awake, I'm up. You know what's crazy? Yesterday these tulips were all hanging down and then this morning they're all fixed. It's the little things in life that really make me happy. So we got a little bit on the docket today. We're having some homeowner type issues and uh, it's been, what, we've lived in the house for, since March, it's January, holy crap, almost a year. So the issue today is our custom limestone fireplace that we built last year, or had, had built, um, is cracked. So the stone, can you, what's going on? She's running away from me. Jeff can't get the dog under control. Great morning. All right, of course, two minutes into that walk, the camera battery dies, so I was cut off. But anyway, today we have some homeowner problems that we need to take care of. Like I said, we cracked. Is it your? You're waiting for that moment? Yep, big moment. <laughs> yeah, so our fireplace <clears throat> quite literally cracked in half. So the stone person is coming today to remove it and kind of, I guess, analyze it to mm -hmm. see why, and then they're gonna replace it based on what the issue was. So, fingers crossed it wasn't our doing. Yeah, it's a sad day in the, in the Phillips O'Donnell household. I feel like one of our babies is broken broken, damaged, emotionally and physically. Homeowner problems, man. Mm -hmm. That's it. Anyway, we'll show you our morning routine while we wait around for more people to come in our house. Here we go. All right, so let me show you what we're talking about. It's basically a thick crack and it goes all the way to the top, on the top. But we think that the piece was too heavy because it started cracking here too, so. We think it's when the house settled that it kind of went like and cracked in the middle because you can see here, this gap is wider than this and this is starting to chip. So but I feel like- a lot of pressure on here, which is causing that to chip and this to split. I agree with you on this action of splitting, but I don't think it was the house settling. I think they sure, may have yes. made a mistake. A boo -boo on their part. So we'll see. We went to the flower, this like wholesale flower place yesterday and got beautiful flowers for the house. The reason we haven't given a house tour yet is because we actually haven't, we actually haven't, babe, it's not funny. Like I was saying, the reason we haven't given a full house tour yet is because we sort of moved in unexpectedly and immediately jumped into summer with our friends and family. So we actually, actually haven't had a chance to really decorate. So the whole house is kind of a, like a white box, quite literally. You'll get a house tour eventually, I promise. All right, what's on your <laughs> schedule today? Um, I have to work. Boo. But um, I'm thinking about what I want to make for dinner. I'm thinking pasta. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that so might be. Maybe another. we'll bring them along. Um, I'm trying a new pasta recipe based off of our favorite pasta in the city, which is a spicy vodka rigatoni, but we're doing um, swirls, I think. Maybe that in a salad. I guess that's what we're doing tonight. So Jeff works a more normal nine to five, so all day I'm by myself. Which is good, because I still obviously have to work. I just have a different schedule. I usually just wait for him to have a break and make us lunch or go for a walk. So I guess you get a little sneak peek of that today. Other thing I just forgot. So we also are having the house cleaned today because we need to take some photos of the house because we're going to rent it out this summer like we did last summer. So when we bought this property, we intended on spending 
most of our summertime out here while also splitting time in the city. But we also knew it would be a great investment property. So we're gonna try to rent it out for a couple weeks in the summer to help us offset some of our costs. And um, yeah, so doing that, uh, doing that today as well. Period. We haven't filmed a morning routine because this is our morning routine and it's hard to make this look aesthetically pleasing, but you know, this is the reality. Oh, somebody else made me do today. Put the Christmas tree away. Oh yeah. I gotta take the Christmas tree. I gotta take the Christmas lights down too, eventually. Eventually. Um, do you guys remember when we moved in here, we got some house plants and we got a fig and it was like, yay. Yay tall. Look at her now. We need to get these windows clean. Holy crap. But look at this fig. She's thriving. Also, if anybody has any, I tried to clean these windows with Windex outside and look at the material. Like you see those TikTok videos where they're like, yeah, I, I sent an email. I finally got our thank you card. So if you're a guest and you haven't gotten a thank you card, it's not that we aren't thanking you, it's that we just have had a quite a few busy months. So this is our thank you cards and we love them. All right, go play something on the piano. Give me a little something. Give me some. <sighs> all right, all right, copyright strike, copyright strike. Great, really. Just kidding. Um, oh. Yeah, good one. <laughs> Taylor Phillips. Oh, okay, that's enough. That's enough of that. I regret that I ever asked. All right, so I guess I'm just gonna keep walking around the house talking to you guys until something exciting happens, so keep watching. A little life hack. Life hack. So we got these really nice candles as gifts and we used them, but they had, I wanted to keep the container because I thought this would be nice to have in the kitchen with like sugar or like salt or whatever. And then this in our bathroom with Q-tips. So there was some leftover wax. So what I did is boiled some water, poured that boiling water into the container, and then all of the wax rises to the top. So now I can just pull the wax out and the container will be clean. Haha. <laughs> wow. Did it work? Yeah. For the most part, I mean, now it just seems to be like cleaned out, but like this one we didn't put enough water in. All right, time to put their Christmas tree away. Jeff was so kind to pack it all up while I was away, but now I gotta put it in the attic, so. Okay, that is a big tree for a small attic door. Mm. All right, let's just, can you, can you drag it? Or, you know, try to, oh, 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 she's got it. Wait, why am I doing this? They're just moving it to the hallway. It's also our house, quit complaining. Seriously makes me do. Wait, 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 wait. All right, I'm looking at the width here. 
here and I'm looking at the door there and uh, I mean, something it can be like, like the math ain't mathin'. <laughs> Yeah, we're gonna bop, 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 bop to the top, wipe away my inhibition. I need you to hoist it. It's a two-man job. Oh, it doesn't handle. Right, you just try to slim in the sides. Okay, because I, I gotta walk backwards and get up here. One thing I love about our six penny sofa, not an ad, is basically that the whole thing is machine washable. So I'm now just taking off a bunch of cushions that have been park. Hi. Just taking off a bunch of cushion covers and throwing them in the washer and we'll be good to go. Somebody's making a little snack. Oh, you took the small one. Mm -hmm. It's the kind of husband I am. What's cooking? Avocado, salt, lemon juice. Dang, that's a big old piece. Mm -hmm. You owe me like a little bit. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah. What happened is we think the fireplace is actually a gas burning fireplace, but when we bought the house, they were burning wood in it, so then we continued to burn wood in it, and basically the metal was expanding and contracting, which caused the limestone to break, but they took off the piece, so whenever they were ready, they're gonna reinstall it. If you look back here, There's like all insulation and stuff back there. Like that's not how a, a wood burning fireplace is built. And they even have these like little holes where I think the gas line would go. So we have someone coming on Friday to assess if it is actually a gas burning fireplace, which is crazy because the house didn't even have gas when we moved in and there was no tank. So if it is, we'll just reconvert it and then they'll fix it and everything will be good. But that's where we're at and that sucks because they just ripped apart a beautiful piece of stonework that they made for us. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching Homeowner Probs. Make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel and we'll see you in the next video.